common pattern when working with a list control in a UX component is to populate controls on the uh, UX component with values from the current row in the list. So you can see here that if I click on this row over there and then click this button, we're going to populate the list with values from the current row. So the current row of the list actually has more data than just the last name and the first name. So if we go back and we look at the list and uh, go to list properties, we can see that the list contains first name, last name, city and state fields. But in the list layout, we're only uh, displaying last name and first name. So the uh, city and state are available in the list, but they're not being used to display in the list. And then when we click on this item, though, for the selected row, the whole first name, last name, city and state are all filled in. So let's go and see now the code behind this button. So let's go back into design mode over here and then go to the button and go to the on click event and we can see that this was done using action javascript so if we go and edit this action we can see that we're using one of the built-in actions in action javascript called list control actions and uh, when you choose list control actions there's a large collection of actions that you can choose from so in this case we're choosing populate controls with data from current row in list and then we specify the list ID we're talking about. So we're talking about list one. In this case, there is only one list control on the UX component, but there could be many. And this is the control map. So this is showing how the fields in the list are mapped to the controls on the component. So if we just quickly close this down and look at the controls here, we can see that the first control has a variable name or an ID of FN, and then the second control is LN and then city and state. So let's go back to this button now and then go to the on click event and then edit again. And so here's our control map and if we just uh, click on the smart field we can see we get a uh, control map builder. So for any column in the list we can specify the corresponding control on the UX component that should get filled in. So at this point we've achieved what we wanted excepting that the user has to click the button in order to populate this list and obviously make much more sense to just have the uh, controls populate automatically as soon as the user clicks on a row in a list. So let's go back now and we'll go to properties and then we'll go to JavaScript actions and we'll create a new action. So we'll go to JavaScript actions and we'll go here and we'll say uh, populate list and then we'll just go through that process um, of defining the action. So edit the action we'll bring up a UX component and then list control actions. We'll choose the populate controls with data action. The list that we're talking about is list number one. Then we'll go over here. We'll click auto map which picks up uh, city and state and then we'll go and map first name to FN and last name to LN. So now we've uh, defined our action and now let's uh, just copy that uh, clipboard, that code to the clipboard. So this is the JavaScript here that's going to run that action. I'm going to just copy it to the clipboard and now go back to my controls, go to the list, go to the list events and scroll down to the on click event and I can just either paste in the action that I copied from the clipboard or click here, run JavaScript action. I'll choose the populate list action click OK and now save this go over to working preview and now you can see that when I click on a row in a list we're automatically populating these controls on the component so I just want to point out one thing before we end the video that this is populating the these controls with data that's already been retrieved it's in the list but in addition to uh, this action there's also another action which we can look at over here and I'm going to just pause and find that action. So the uh, populate controls in an unbound control will make an AJAX callback. So this is a, uh, an entirely different action that we're using here. Thank you very much for watching.